Okay, so let's take a look at how you can create a Xamarin project with Visual Studio. So if you haven't downloaded Visual Studio, go to official website and there you will find community edition. Okay, so it's good enough for Xamarin development. Now once you download the installer, you will go through the installation process and within that we will take a look at what needs to be done for Xamarin project with Visual Studio. Now the installer should have something like this interface where you see that if it's get installed it will have option to modify. Okay, And if this option is not given then you will see interface like this where you have to choose the components. So in case of Xamarin, you will have to choose mobile development with .NET. Okay, also have .NET desktop, just so you want to work with C Sharp, right? So these two things are good enough to go with Xamarin, right? Then you choose install while downloading, and then you start the installation. So as I have already installed Xamarin and finished that, I will not be going through them, right? So let me close this and here you see Visual Studio 22 I can launch, right? So it should open. You can close the installer. Now let it load. It's basically a very simple window like this. And on right hand side, you see get started window, right? It has these tabs that you can browse through, right? So these are the previous solutions that I made, right? So it sorts based on month and week, right? And also uh, you have option to get projects from uh, GitHub, so clone a repository, right? So there is also Azure DevOps to get the repository from or open project or solution then open local folder right so out of this we are going to create a new project so we'll just select this option click on that and here we will be searching for Xamarin right so it will take time based on the available set of templates on the top you will find the options right so here you see the C sharp language then we have let's say Android and see project for let's see mobile right so it should open Xamarin now here we will have to create a mobile app Xamarin forms right there is also Android app Xamarin which will be generic in case of mobile app with Xamarin forms also include support for iOS right then you have other templates as well right so here you see install more tools and features that allows adding more options but if you have installed the Xamarin workload that I have shown you for mobile development within the installer you will get these options right so here you see you also have iOS then tvOS right so basically we have support for Android and iOS so that's what we need with Xamarin right and make sure the mobile is selected if you have IoT and other device support that should be listed as well but in this particular case with Xamarin you just need mobile support so C sharp Android and mobile is what we need for selection here now then comes the project name let's put my Xamarin app right and here you see solution name my Xamarin app now let's just click on create and it should ask you to select the template so here I'm not going to check for flyout which is going to be just showing a drawer type of functionality there is also a tabbed interface as you can see at the bottom tabs then comes the black so we'll have to fill things up for this now let's 
click on create and it will begin processing and start our Xamarin project setup now one more thing is make sure that you have Android studio and also the Android image ready so in case of using the emulator you can have that so here you can see I already have Android studio installed and next thing would be to have that emulator so we'll have that right so let the project load and we will take a look at solution explorer and at the top you can see when you want to execute the project it shows option specific to android right so on the right hand side we have solution explorer that shows the project specific to android right you can also right click on your project and go for add the new item right and then where you want to add let's say ios related content you can add that ios template through this right so if we check this now here you notice that when your xamarin is started it's built it will ask you to download android sdk specific for this project right so let it download meanwhile we can take a look at our specific templates if there are any so let's go with that right and now here you see you currently have these options for adding now at the bottom you can see android emulator is being downloaded right once it finishes we can choose from this option of android and then we can run the project right so when we run this it should call for your uh, emulator window that uh, usually the image that you create or the device that you create with android studio it will be called up and your project will be visible within that particular device okay pay attention to the bottom here you'll we'll see whether your android emulator is being downloaded being installed etc now when we press on this android emulator it should ask you for permission then it will open android device manager where your device should be already available right so default it says pixel 5 now click on create right it will ask you to download any necessary image click accept so basically you see the api 32 which i created previously is not accepted by visual studio instead it is asking me to download another 1 gb worth of image to run this particular xamarin project and for that it has api 30 with same device and same specification except memory being 1 gb right so let's wait for this particular image to be downloaded on the desktop then we will be able to choose this device and run it now once downloaded and installed you can click on start button and here you can see your android emulator has started it will boot up the android and then what we can do is we can then run the project then it will appear its output on this particular emulator now alternatively you can also connect your usb device and then get it displayed within this particular list okay so currently android device manager is showing the recent image that we have with api 30 right so let it load 
now that we have pixel started we can simply go and run our xamarin project now the build has started let's wait for it to appear here notice that we haven't written any code here so far we are only running the default xamarin project so let's wait for the output now as you can see it will show you welcome to xamarin forms message along with the message saying start developing now and where to make changes right it also has hot reload option so when you make changes you can quickly see it within this emulator right so this is the typical output once you first create a xamarin project or you can see xamarin forms project uh, specifically for android so i have not covered ios so we'll take a look at that part later and currently we didn't wrote any code so this is purely the first time run of your project 